Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, RC Mechanic. And uh, so today we're going to work on uh, waterproofing and ESC. Um, if anybody watched the uh, last uh, D413 uh, video, um, you know that um, it got submerged underwater pretty good. And uh, then it finally quit working if anybody watched to the end. Um, because that's when it showed that. All right, um, and um, I'm thinking what happened was the ESC got too much water in it, and uh, it needs, you know, it needed to be uh, waterproofed before we went and did that. So the ESC in the Wraith here is the same as in the D413, and uh, it's a Connexus. Uh, a really good cheap uh, combo set uh, this is a 4000 kV um, so so let's get started all right and what I need is a pair of snippers or a knife or a scissor okay so I'm gonna have to take this uh, receiver box out Cut the zip ties that's holding that down. I moved the receiver box from the front to the rear, put the battery up front for crawlability. And um, that would be one of the main reasons why I'm uh, going to a different ESC because the Connexus uh, speed controller um, can only do like 40% dry break. So let's take a look at this uh, ESC. First thing I need to do is get this double-sided tape off. I'll tell you this 3M stuff is just crazy. Sticky. So the stuff I buy um, for that is uh, I get it at a local heart um, Auto parts store, and uh, it's a 3M uh, tape that they use for uh, holding trim on. So you can imagine it's very effective. Okay, so I unplug the fan right here, and I'm going to take these screws out and uh, remove the fan. Okay, so a uh, product I like to use for waterproofing is uh, a product called Flex Seal. I have clear and I have black. Now, in this case, I'm going to use clear. Just one. All right, so you got this all part right here. Giving that the heat shrink. <coughs> And got this little uh, mat right here for uh, help uh, insulate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull that out here, and we got this gasket right here. Get that out here, and I'm going to get a piece of cardboard to lay down here so I can spray this. So. I uh, cut off a piece of par cardboard from a parts shipment I received not long ago. And uh, what we'll do here is, uh, which isn't very big, it's part of the box. So I think I'm going to do is push these screws and stuff aside. I'm going to take some of these rags, lay down. Okay, so it'll be just like this. And I'll take this uh, clear flex seal right here, I'll shake it up real good. <coughs> I'm just going to spray the board. All right. 
That way, if any water gets in there, it really doesn't matter all that much. The board will be protected. I'll also, um, I'm going to spray down the uh, case. Alright, so I'll give it a real light coat. If it can. I'm going to tip it to one side here. Whoops. And the key here, I think, will be if. would be to let it dry right let it dry really good before you go ahead and put it together so what we're going to do right now is we're going to let this dry and uh, we'll come back okay so I went and go I went ahead and I uh, put this all back together um, didn't think um, you guys would really mind. Um, just screwed it all together. Uh, almost uh, forgot about the uh, the gasket down in here. Almost forgot about the gasket inside, um, which will be irrelevant when we're all done. Um, but. Um, the conformal coating is um, mostly dry, so I was comfortable with putting that together. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over the outside of this and uh, make sure that that's all sealed up. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that. And uh, I got. I, I will tell you that. In this particular case, um, the speed controller, um, since the conformant coating is a little bit uh, thicker, um, did not want to actually go together like planned. So it's a little tight. But there you are. Alright, so I'll just put one coating on here of that and uh, let it hang to dry. I'll hang it up somewhere um, and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and install that in the next episode um, back into the D413. Okay, alright, so uh, thank you all for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> And uh, if you liked what you saw today, if it was informative, helped you out at all, uh, give me a like, click, and uh, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.